Don't get lost in the crowd. Some of you are doing things that we're never supposed to do. Some of you are following after men and women, trying to be like them. You dress up like them. You speak like them. You try to act like them, thinking that you will get to their level. My, my brothers and sisters, be who God called you to be. You are unique. You are different from them. You can never be like your celebrity. You can never be like your role model. So do not get lost in the crowd. You are supposed to be the head and not the tail. You are supposed to be somebody who leads, not a follower. So my brothers and sisters, you are supposed to be above and not beneath. Do not allow people or things to take your position. Remember that you are the salt of this world. When you look at salt, salt is a preservative. It preserves things from going bad. Salt was very expensive in those days. That they used salt as a medium of exchange. In those days when there was no money, salt would even preserve things. Salt can even be used for seasoning. So be the salt of this world. Don't get lost on social media. Don't get lost in things that do not add value to you. Some of you are in a lot of pages, a lot of platforms that are full of gossip, that are full of things that bring you down. You are phone watching programs that do not add value to you. Don't do what people do. Do what the word instructs you to do. Remember, though you live in this world, you are not of this world. Doesn't the scripture say that do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you have to renew your mind day and night because there are a lot of things that are after your dear soul. Some of you may not know this truth. That there are things that have done ha damage to you. And you need to be careful of these things. Today's word is from the book of Luke 19, 1 to 9. Luke 19, 1 to 9. And it reads, Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be with a guest, with a man who, was, who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. Glory to God. Now this is a situation of a man by the name of Zacchaeus, that this man wanted to see the Lord Jesus. But the scripture does make mention that this man was short in stature. He was a short man. And it was a hindrance to him. It was a very... And notice that this man, he was a chief tax collector, meaning that he had money. He was very rich. So... Verse 4 says, So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. Some of you, 
You have to run ahead. Ahead of what? Ahead of the crowd. Because if you are in the crowd, the crowd will confuse you. You will start following the crowd. The crowd will be a stumbling block to you. This man Zacchaeus did not look at his problem. But he made an opportunity out of it. He was a man that thought. He thought ahead. He was a prudent man. He did not allow his uh, shortness. His, uh, just because he was short, he did not allow it to be a hindrance to him. He ran ahead. Some of you need to run ahead and climb that tree. I may not be speaking of a physical tree. You need to climb that tree and see things from an, another angle. Because some of you, the angle you are seeing things could be a dangerous angle. You could be seeing things at a point of torment. You could be seeing things at a point of pain. But God wants to elevate you. Remember, I've already spoken about this, that you are the head. The head cannot be formed with things that are beneath. You will never find an ego with chicken. The moment an ego starts hanging around with chicken, it will start acting like it. All of a sudden, the ego that had the ability to fly will think that it's among the chicken. It will never fly. But if you hang out with egos, people who are like-minded, you will fly. Zacchaeus knew this, that if he continued with the crowd, he would never see Jesus. He would never see his breakthrough. He went ahead. He went an extra mile. Verse 5 says, and when Jesus came to that, to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. This was a breakthrough. This was a serious moment in Zacchaeus' life. I love what verse uh, another verse says, that is uh, verse 7, it says, But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. When people saw it, when they saw Jesus with Zacchaeus, they all complained. Not only one, not only three people, the scripture says, they all complained. Because people will always complain. People will always uh, say things to see that you do not get your breakthrough. Maybe among the crowd, there were people with the same similar situation, same similar problem with Zacchaeus. And they wanted to limit him. They wanted to continue being in the same problems. But Zacchaeus said, enough is enough. Some of you, you have to say it, that enough is enough. Well, brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this good news, but I've not run out of time. Now, until next time, be blessed.